What's up everybody? Welcome back. So, uh, was catching up on some YouTube videos this afternoon, um, and I come across uh, Todd H. at Hot Rod Lug Nuts Hot Rod Garage, um, and he proposed a new question for the community. Um, what was your first build as a YouTube channel? Uh, or what was the first build you showed on your YouTube channel? Something like that. Or, what was the first build that you built, um, ever? <laughs> well, I don't have that build anymore. That went, that went to Ryan. Uh, I can tell you, that was a 68 Roadrunner kit. Uh, quick backstory, um, about... 11 or 12 years ago, I picked up the hobby again, built, eh, here and there, uh, and then got really serious about it about five years ago, built a whole bunch of stuff, started, you know, adding plug wires, this and that, decided to start a YouTube channel a year ago, and the first build that I decided I was going to do on my YouTube channel um, was the Fred Henry Appreciation Build. So, what what did that build entail? Well, uh, I had been watching Fred for a few months, uh, learned some stuff off of his channel, um, all admired his builds a great deal. Um, so I needed to build something Pro Street, but I wanted to build something different that was Pro Street. Uh, so, what I did was, I looked at my at the time, a very small stash of kits. It was like 40 kits. Uh, and I had the racer's wedge, and I thought, man, that'd be cool if it was single rear axle and Pro Street with a cool motor in it. That'd be cool. And then I could also build something to go on the back of it. Um, and I had just picked up the Moon Eyes Dragster kit, and I thought, it's perfect. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. Uh, so that's what I did. Uh, so this was the very first. If you go back into my videos, uh, I had a couple of videos where I, I sh talked about some stuff. They were awful. They were. I, I mean, whose who's first YouTube videos aren't? I'm sorry, guys, but it's true. Um, so this was the first completed build. So I'm going to show it to you. There it is. The Fred Henry Appreciation Build. The Racer's Wedge. Done my way. Single rear axle. Pro Street. Uh, with the Moon Eyes Dragster on the back. So let's take the Dragster off the back. Uh, you got all your tools in the back. Some of them are glued in. Some of them are not. Uh, I think those slicks are, but the gas can is not. I like this little toolbox. This toolbox is cool. Like if I had a toolbox like that, it would also have. It would also be covered in stickers. So I did that. Um, so uh, this was before I started wet sanding anything. Um, so this, the paint job on this, even though it looks pretty good in this video up close. Uh, is rougher than a stucco bathtub. It's it's okay, but this was before I started learning that you need to wet sand your stuff. Um, I primed it with a Krylon primer, I think. Um, it's painted with a testers, like gloss yellow, I think. Gloss yellow enamel with the the clear not sanded uh thing is is bumpier than a kmart parking lot but it looks pretty good in video um i pro street at the bottom of it so what i did on the bottom the axle is from a ford thunderbolt kit that was in the parts box uh tires are from the 67 chevelle hand painted the stuff that's molded in um, you'll notice the engine, automatic. This kit came with a standard, I believe. Automatic transmission. Um, painted this like a carrier bearing because I figured something with a long drive shaft would have a split shaft. 
uh, built the boxes underneath out of styrene plastic so it just didn't look like this was just empty space. Um, hand painted with gloss, semi-gloss craft paint. Doesn't look that good. Again, I've learned um, I would do things differently nowadays. Um, I built the doors out of flat styrene, made the hinges, made this look like a door so that this would look like a single wheel well. Um, the trim is Molotel pen because I hate bare metal foil. We all know this. <laughs> so, um, the interior, two-tone brown and tan. It's tough to see. Uh, the shifter, a handmade that's to look like a B&M style, like ratchet shifter. Uh, so that's a battery that I sanded the top smooth, drilled a hole in it. Uh, I used a parts box shifter in the top of that. I did use, I did, it's hard to see, but there are like, I had gauge decals in the extra decals that I had. So I put those in there. Custom front end. The hood had, although, so what happened was, uh, I cut the hole for the hood, um, and it looked like a blind person did it. I didn't do a good job at all. I was like, um, so what I did was I molded on a scoop from the parts box and cut the hole a little bit nicer to clear the blown small block Chevy that's out of the 29 Ravel Roadster kit. Obviously wired my battery, uh, ran a line for the washer fluid, did my own coil, wires, um, detail painted everything, used some black wash on stuff. I think other than the paint, this came out really nice. Also, I think I've learned over the year that I've been doing this, that I would probably do something different with this. It is what it is. But that's my first YouTube build right there. Um, second YouTube build is the Moon Eyes Dragster. That is basically straight out of the parts box. Looks pretty good. Painted with the same yellow. Cleared with the same clear coat. Also not sanded. Uh... The only thing I added to this kit is um, I did black wires and I added a parachute cable. So that's that. Box stock. Um, and I think it looks pretty good together. So I've learned quite a bit. Um, You've seen my newer builds. Uh, I, you know, I'm wet sanding, I'm airbrushing, I'm polishing, I'm doing all kinds of stuff. So, in the year that I've been doing this, I've, I've advanced in my mind quite a bit. Um, but that's it. So that's my answer to Todd's question. Your first YouTube build. Uh, yeah. So, that's all I got for now. Um, go check out Todd's channel. Uh, I will link it in the description of the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. As always, go check out Mark, Hobby Nut Models. Boop, right there. Uh, go check out Ryan, 603 Model Works, as always. Um, also linked in the description of the video. I really appreciate you guys watching this stuff, uh, even though it's just quick, rambling type videos. Um, but I have a lot of fun with it, and you guys seem to enjoy it, so we're going to keep going the way we're going uh, and, enjoy, and, and enjoying it. So, uh, videos to look forward to this weekend. Got the orange crate. I'm going to show you that. Uh, I'm going to open up the Cobra kit, uh, and I have a shop edition, like a tool kind of shop edition, I guess you'd call it. So that's, that's the next three videos coming up. So I hope you guys will watch those, and I hope you like them. Um, as always, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment, check out the, the links in the description below, and most importantly, keep having fun. And I will talk to you again this weekend. Thanks, guys. Bye.